So the title of this video is Centrifugal Pump Style Embalming Machines. And the purpose of the video is to inform embalmers of the internal components of their machine and help them to better understand how it works. So the first component I'm going to point out to you is the uh, electrical switch. And when given power, green being power, it supplies electric to the motor. And this thing right here is your motor. And attached to your motor is the impeller. And that's right here. And what an impeller does, it's much like a fan, it spins very fast. And by its spinning, it begins to draw fluid from your tank. This is the machine flipped upside down. This black ring is the base of your tank. So we'll put tank here. As an added visual, we'll do a short diagram here of what you're looking at. And so we're drawing fluid from the base of the tank and that way is to the motor, to motor. So the impeller begins to take in fluid and send it out uh, here and down where it makes its first stop at the pressure regulator. And its next stop would be at the rate of flow valve or ball valve. Now, the pressure regulator has three openings. Um, so the smallest opening is for the gauge. And that's the reading off your machine. And the second opening, the one that we passed first, is a T, a plumbing T, plumbed into that one opening. And so if we diagram what we're looking at there, we do a gauge, say we dialed it into 20, we'd have the regulator. Put R for regulator. We'd have our plumbing T plumbed in. And we'd have our supply line going to our tank and motor. And off that T, we go to our rate of flow valve. Now, if we totally close that valve, you may be asking yourself, how does the motor sending all this fluid towards the regulator, how does the regulator keep from blowing up? Um, and it's very simple. The third opening on the regulator is right here. And what that is responsible to do is to bring the fluid back, everything in excess of this 20 uh, pounds of pressure is to return back to the tank. So if we follow the line here, fluid leaves the regulator and returns back to the tank, all the excess above this 20 pounds of pressure. And in support of this, if we write down here from regulator, fluid travels up the machine. And when we run low on fluid, when we're utilizing one of these machines, you might be very familiar with the disc-like spray that comes up. And so it's important to understand that the regulator is regulating 20 pounds of pressure throughout the machine in those areas. When we switch our machine to mix, for instance, 
what that does is it actually sends an electrical signal here to a shutoff valve. So we'll mark that uh, shutoff. And that shutoff valve cuts the output of fluid from your machine and forces, again, the return from the regulator back to the tank. Just the same as if you completely closed off your ball valve, all that's going to do is simply, again, return fluid back up your machine, causing it to recirculate. Having established how the pressure regulator is supplying the rate of flow valve or ball valve with fluid, according to our example, in the amount of 20 uh, pounds of pressure, when we talk about the ball valve being unrestricted, what we have is we have an output pressure also at 20 pounds of pressure. And so this is called, or what is referred to as actual pressure, because logically the output is the same as what's being measured with inside the machine. However, if we were to completely restrict the ball valve, we would have our measured pressure on our machine still be 20. However, on the other end, we wouldn't have 20 we would have zero. And so what this refer, refers to is potential pressure, and that would be measuring the 20, the pressure inside the machine, not the output. The difference between the potential uh, pressure and the actual pressure is what's referred to as differential pressure. Now there is another example that we can apply this to and that's if the ball valve is partially restricted. What we have here again is our supply being 20 and 20 pounds PSI is being measured at head, so the diameter of the pipe. And because we are reducing the size of the pipe because it's partially restricted, that reduction is supplying at that smaller head size 20. But then when it again goes back to being a larger diameter pipe, what we have now is we have less than 20 as output pressure. There is just one feature that I hadn't pointed out yet, and that is the pulse feature, and it's not on this diagram, but basically electric is intercepted um, by a switch, and that switch, when enacted, either completes the circuit, or if we want to get a pulse out of it, it is instead going to pass through a resistor and it's going to work much like a hazard switch. It's going to simply cut the power to the motor or not for a specific uh, intermittent time um, interval. So it is important to know that the uh, pressure regulator is regulating your fluid output and consider how that is going to be affecting uh, the person. Um, there is another takeaway. I wanted to give you a little treat here. Um, if your motor is not bad uh, but you have a scrap machine, one thing you could do if you have poor water pressure in your funeral home and you have good solid pipes um, because if you don't have good solid pipes you can really get into a problem with this especially if they're oxidized on the inside is you can take your motor 
and you can use it to boost your water pressure by plumbing into the inlet of the motor. Um, and then out the other side, you'd plumb back to your prep room. And then when you plug it in, you have this boost of power. And we know how boosting our water pressure can help us, especially if you have one of them Hulk aspirators. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, a message from our sponsor. Have you ever wondered why your hydro aspirator is silver? Do you agree that the happiness of the embalmer is totally dependent on the suction of their aspiration system? Does your aspirator just plain suck? Well, I'm here to tell you, the reason your aspirator is silver is because it's in second place. To the Hulk. That's right, the Hulk. People call it the Hulk because it's green, and it's clearly very, very angry. Because it actually sucks. It has a simple no-clogging design with optional reversible flow. And you can keep your embalmer happy and stop using what's crappy. Buy an aspiration adapter today. Mention Hulk Aspirator and we'll take $25 off your purchase. Or if you're ordering online, put Hulk in the promo code. Toodaloo.